Hello everyone. Okay, making sure I've got enough um, space left on the uh, camera. Oops, making a mess underneath the counter. Okay, I am about to make some soap. But first of all, I've also got a haul from Micah Mama, which came actually probably a month ago. And it came in this box here. And Micah Mama, I've been using their micas for quite some time. And they contacted me um, on my email to ask me if I would like to receive a box for review, for use, to do videos, photos on Instagram, things like that. And I was like, of course I would. Um, and they asked me which ones I'd like to try. So I gave a list of all the ones that were possibilities that I would like to try. Um, some of them, you know I've used Micro Mama before, so a lot of them are repeats for me, but um, I obviously haven't bought them. But I'm just going to go through these first, and then I'll show you the ones I'm going to use in 4 and 20 Blackbird soap, which I have made before, but hey ho, you know, we're going to make it again because it's a staple in my catalogue and I have to make it. So I thought, well, I'm going to use colours that I always use from my Mama in that soap, so I may as well just show off this um, this box. So it comes packaged really beautifully in some pink tissue with a my Mama sticker. And um, I'll just go through each colour individually. So a lot of these I've used before which is why I put them on my list because I know they're tried and tested and they actually work really well for me. So obviously the first one, I'm sure you might be able to, uh, be able to guess, is Plum Purple. <laughs> there you go. Plum Purple. Plum Purple is a must for me. This one, um, it's got a different depth. Like, uh, you know, purples are purples. You get loads of different purple mics. In fact, I've got several others here. They've sent me... Purple Berries, which I use in my shampoo bar for Rook and Raven shampoo. And Blackberry Mica, which I use in something else. I can't remember which one that was. So they are all purples, but Plum Purple has like this beautiful sort of... This is the Plum Purple, this is Purple Berries, and this is the Blackberry. So we're going from light to dark. But the Plum Purple has like a really nice iridescence. They all do, but Plum Purple's just, it's a really special colour. And when you put this into your soap batter, it's stunning. I mean, you've seen me use this before, so I'm going to use this again today. So I'm going to put that to the side because I'm going to need that one. I'm also going to be using one from the soap rig, which is the Black Sparkle, which is here. It's just a black mica. Um, instead of using charcoal, I'm going to use a mica because I don't want this soap to be exfoliating. It's just a nice smooth bar. Um, so I'm going to go through the others. There's another few in here that you've seen me use many times before. So my favourite ones I'll go through first and then we'll get to the rest. So pistachio is another one. Yeah, there's like It's like a jungle sort of green, like a tropical green. Um, actually with the purple goes really, really well and I've used these two together in my wild fig soap with another one I've got here which is sky blue. Sky blue is, it looks kind of really blue in the packet but when you use it in soap you obviously use sparingly to get like a really powdery soft blue and that one works really well so that's what I use in wild fig soap those three together and they really work well and I, I use this one to create like a pale blue base which you've probably seen me make that before so I am going to be using plum purple today so let's put these two to the side so that's pistachio sky blue and then this one is also going in today's soap this is red riot and this is another really really good one if you want a vibrant pink and it's a pinky red I mean it's red riot but it's really like a beautiful fuchsia pink or like a cerise pink so these two together is what I'm using with the black on a white base that's what I'm using today other ones that I really like so there's another red here which is a cherry red and that's here which is slightly different to the red riot there you go it's like a slightly darker color so cherry red Obviously, it would be really great for like a black cherry soap. What's that fragrance by Nature's Garden? Black cherry bomb. Like, really, really like stinky one. That would be perfect for that. <laughs> cherry red mica, I will probably use in something like Bite Me or something like that. would be like a really good one to use it for. 
but we shall see. I'm going to put it to the side and have a think about that one. Other ones that I really like, Cerulean. You've seen me use that one many times. So when I sent them the list, I was expecting them to send me like, you know, maybe a few from my list, but they sent me all of them from my list. So I'm incredibly grateful for that. I was not expecting like a whole box of micas, but um, yeah, thank you, Micah Mama, for sending these through. Another one I really like, this is Forest Gold. Forest Gold has like gold flecks. So when you make it, like if you make soap with this, it's like, um, it looks like a green and then further inspection, if you really study the bar, you can really see like these lovely gold flecks in there. So I really, really like forest gold. Then I've got cappuccino, which is one that I use for my shampoo bars, dark carnival shampoo bars. I use that one. And cappuccino comes out more of a toffee like a toffee shade so if you're making like a caramel soap or something like um pumpkin soaps things like that for halloween then this gives a really good toffee color so i mean lots of those sort of autumnal soaps want you want that toffee shade so cappuccino is a really good one for that then i have dark orange i've got two left dark orange which is another one that i use for my peach shampoo bars and for my pumpkins in uh, Halloween. This is really, really good. And I keep this one in stock actually on the regular. So dark orange is a really good orange. Doesn't morph, just stays orange. Really good. And then finally, we've got olive gold green mica, which is quite similar to pistachio actually. So if you couldn't get the one, you can get the other. So if you turn, if I turn, there's hardly any difference in these. So this is the olive gold and this is the pistachio. So there's not too much of a difference. This is probably more yellow toned and this is more on the khaki green side, but they're very, very similar, those two colours. But I will use them nonetheless. So that's the Micah Mama haul. So if you want to stay tuned to um, watch me make 4 and 20 blackbirds yet again, then stay tuned and you can see how this is made. Okay, I'm just going to pour the lye into my oils. blend to a very light trace or emulsification. Okay. So let's just pour some off so we can do my three colours. side a minute and just get these colors in and I'll come back and uh, we'll start pouring okay just got my colors mixed so you can see that plum purple look it's almost got like a black in there and then the red raya is super super pink and then that black from the soapy so in this big bucket I've got white so I'm just gonna Aim you back a little bit so we can start pouring the fragrance in and pouring this uh, soap and getting the texture done on the top. So, bear with me, Mo. Okay, so I'm just going to pour fragrance in these. A little bit in there, a little bit in there, a little bit in there. This one can move quite quickly sometimes, so you might have to move a bit faster. I'm just um, not going to stick blend it because it can cause me issues if I do. So if I just use my little handy 
hand whisk it should be okay and stay as I want it to. Just mix it in. Just do it quickly. And then I have to work relatively fast. Which can be a little stressful. start pouring into the mould. Okay, a little more in there, just going to make sure they're kind of even if we can. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the plum purple first, which has already started to thicken quite a lot. Keep it high. Okay, then some black. Stay slightly more fluid. And the pink, which also again is thickened. Ooh. Come on, pink. Don't let me down. Okay, I'm just going to get some big globules in there because it's moving already. Right, chopstick. Just very, very quickly to get my swirl in. I am working with quite a heavy discount today because I want these to be ready pretty quick. Um, okay, I'm going to have to just dollop some of these in because it's going to go wrong on me. Just make sure they're even as much as I can. Luckily, the next soaps I've got to make after this one are a lot less stressful. This one always has a tendency to move if I do that discount quite heavy and it has so let's get some more of the white. It always looks okay when it's finished it's just that um, you can see it's still moving but it's not soap on the stick but it is like it's a stressful soap to make it's just in the end it looks lovely but ooh, it does give me some uh, problems it's always such a relief when I've made it when I've sold out I'm like oh god I've got to make it again and it's like it's yeah it can be quite stressful I'm sure there's other videos where it's actually not as stressful as this but um you might have to go back through the channel to find it but it's just today I was uh, I was ready for this to go like this because I've done a 50% water discount on this one today is rather hefty for one that causes trouble so don't do that <laughs> if you've got a soap that you know causes you issues it's just I've made this a lot lots and lots of times so if it causes trouble I know sort of how to handle it as you can see <laughs> and I do want to get that texture on the top so I'm gonna just clean up a minute because that makes me feel worse if there's a mess. I'm 
just grab a spoon and just get some texture as much as I can over the top. See that white's obviously helping. Then we'll bring in some of that from the sides so we can see the colours underneath. So when these are cut bars, you'll never know the stress that I've just gone through to get it to actually work. <laughs> and it will look lovely and they'll think, oh, well, she got that texture. Well, that's how, with a lot of stress. <laughs> it, it, it stresses me out, this soap. But it, see, it looks really lovely. When it's um, all cut and you don't see that mess that was made, during the making. You never know. I'm just going to pour a little bit over the top because I quite like that rustic look to it. And underneath it will be really pretty. There will be some really nice swirls in there. But, oh, sort of looks like ice cream. Like a really good Italian gelato. And just needs a little ball, a little bit more on that end loaf. And we can just cut them a little bit wider. It's just ever so slightly lower that last loaf, but it's fine. Measure the, um, I weigh the loaves once I unmold them tomorrow, so I can see what I've got to play with. It shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, see some of them are going to be quite high and some down here are going to be lower. So I'll have to cut that thicker and cut that thinner just so they're kind of on the right track for weight. I could take some out of the other mould, but at this point it's too thick to do that. But that's sort of something that I would normally do. But yeah, I knew I was going to get a little stressful time there from this one. Now let's tidy up the edges. Oh my god, I'm sweating. It's really hot in the UK at the moment. Um, we've had thunderstorms. It's not as hot as it was last year. I don't know if you remember going back, we were getting like 40 degrees C which is really not nice and I hope we don't get that again because it was very very difficult to deal with and I don't want to deal with it again. <laughs> it was too much that was. It was like Australia heat. Okay, so there we go. That's 4 and 20 blackbirds. You little scamp. Being as tricky as it usually is. The next soap I've got to make is Inches Lane, and it's a lovely, easy breezy soap to make. So, so much to look forward to after this one being crazy. Okay, righty ho. I'm going to clean up and get ready for the next one, and I will see you probably for that one. But I will see you in a few moments to cut this, and you'll see what we've got inside the craziness that was this today. Okay, so it does look nice actually on the top, but ooh, stressful soap. Okay, I will see you later. All right, so I'm gonna cut then our lovely loaf of 4 and 20 blackbirds. I've already cut two loaves, so this is the last one just to uh, get this uploaded for the video. So, try and get you a nice close up. It's kind of a yellowy colour because this time I didn't use as much titanium dioxide as I usually would. I want to sort of cut down the usage of that a little bit. But um, this soap does sort of um, look a little bit better for having that white in there. But I didn't want it to be stark white, so I've taken a little bit out. I'm just going to cut off the end for some samples. And these are really, really lovely, chunky bars. So if you're into chunky bars, you'll be able to buy this one in a couple of weeks um, from the website, which is listed below. Also on the description below 
is my newsletter sign up. So if you want to sign up for information and look at that and discount codes and things like that, then newsletter sign up is below. Also below is the links to my Etsy where you can buy my recipes and such. That's all sorts of things. If you wanted to sort of set up a little soap making company, then I can help you get started with basic recipes and things like that. And there's yeah all sorts of bits and pieces below. So if you look at the description, which is below the videos, you'll find all the information. But yeah, I'm just trying to get a few more, a few more people on the newsletter. So if that's your thing, then sign up for that. So don't spam people. Sometimes you might get um, a newsletter once a week. Sometimes you might get one every couple of weeks. It's just if I've got stock updates then I'll send a newsletter then and then if I I'm just sharing some information or some news I also share favorites from across the globe whether that's books or um, things I'm watching things like that sometimes I'll do like a sort of email that I call from the workshop and that's just stuff that I've been listening to or podcasts anything like that then come and sign up and you can uh, get involved and send me emails as well. So you can always reply to any of those that I send out just to keep in touch really. And I like all that because it's sometimes, you know, social media can be a little bit impersonal. So if you make it more personal, I think the newsletter is the way to go because everybody scrolls, you know, everybody's always scrolling Instagram, scrolling Facebook and it's what we do every day. We're all guilty of doing it unless we don't use those apps, you know, but I don't think there's that many people out there that don't. But um, it just sort of takes that personal touch away and I really, really like people's newsletters if they've got something to say. It's not all, you know, I'm not always really salesy. I like to just sort of keep in touch with um, people I like to talk to. So yeah, come and sign up for that. That's, uh, as I said, in the description below, along with all the other bits and pieces. So yeah, this has come out actually really nice. I've just been um, updating the window of the shop, which I'll show you at the end. I've bought some new plants recently as well. I bought some house plants. I've got some in the window, some hanging up. I've got one that actually really needs to be repotted. It's got really quite big since I bought it because it's right in the window in the sunshine. So yeah, probably should um, repot it. I'll show you what I've got in a minute. You can have a look. So that's 4 and 20 blackbirds. I'll be back for the next over. I'm making Inches Lane again, so I'm going to film that one because it's such a lovely soap to make. It's such an easy one. Um, and after the stress of this one, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so subscribe and you'll uh, see that one go up when it goes live. I'm going to put this one up first and then I'm going to do Inches Lane. So stay tuned for that one so these are just samples that i do for sample packs through the website i just sort of sell like a pack of five samples if you can't make up your mind what you're buying then samples are the way to go and you get sort of like five of these sort of sized it's about less so sort of not less than 200 grams is what you get for a sample pack okay that is 420 blackbirds i will be back for the next one but i'll show you the window in a minute Hold on, there you go. So in there, that's my cauldron. I've just got that full of um, full of junk, really. Let me bring it back a bit. So up here is my, I think it's called a devil's ivy or something. Actually, it's a bit hard for you to see because the light's all wrong. But it's in a little pot there and it needs to be repotted. It also needs some um, water. <laughs> and I've got my aloe down there. So I've put some soaps out on some blocks of wood this morning just down there. Sorry this isn't the best video footage but you get the idea. So there's some incense boxes. So I sell all the Satya in incense now. Some shampoo bars, some more soaps down this end here. And 
here's some more plants I've been buying. So I've got some ferns, some calathea, a bird's nest fern, my snake plant. So I'll just show you down the alleyway. I'm about to close because it's two o'clock, so I'll just show you the window. So I don't know if you can see. There's like a little um pigeon box there with all sorts in it. It's a bit hard to see the reflection, but you get the idea. Looks like inside. 